Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna, or well, today I'm going to bring you four more Zentangle patterns, and they're all steampunk type patterns today. And the first one is called Steampunk Pipes. So let's go ahead and have a look at it. I'm going to start by drawing one long straight line. And this is going to be the bottom of your main pipe. And let's go up and take care of the short ones. And what we're going to do here, we're going to draw uh, however many uh, ovals you want your pipe to have. However many pipes you want, you're going to draw ovals. I can't talk this morning. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have three on mine today. <clears throat> and from there, draw straight lines down for however long you want your pipe to be. At the base of each pipe, we're going to cap it off with a little C line, a little C shaped line, and then double that. This is a real quick and easy pattern. Right, now let's draw the top of our main pipe. Okay, now let's uh, make the pot pipe look like it's in sections. We're going to do that by drawing a couple of C shapes across it. And then we're going to put bolts on either side of that C-shape. The next step, we're going to add some shading to make our pipes look round. And to do that along either edge of all the pipes, we're going to do some pencil shading. And we'll also do it on our uh, short pipes. Where are you at here? There we go. There we go. And with the paper stump, we're going to blend that out. sure not to go too far because you want to leave the center of the pipes white and that gives them that third dimensional look Our other 
big pipe and Next step, I think I'm going to uh, color in the ends of our little short pipes. That'll make them look like uh, they're hollow. we have the Zentangle pattern steampunk pipes. Well thanks for coming along with me and I hope you'll come back later today when we'll have some more fun with Zentangle steampunk patterns. See you then!